Hey guys, Crystal here with OurSleepGuide.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Voila mattress. Okay, so what we'd like to do now is we'd like to talk about the off-gassing that we experienced when we opened the Voila mattress. And we did notice some off-gassing in this. So, you know, definitely, you know, when you bring it into your home and you open it up, you set it on your box spring or your platform base, make sure you give yourself enough time before sleeping on it so it can air out. We'd recommend opening up the windows and just letting everything breathe and air out you know, before you start sleeping on it or put your mattress protector over it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the overall comfort that we experienced when sleeping on this mattress and, you know, just kind of how it worked for us, whether we slept on our sides, back, or stomach. And one thing that we also wanted to say is the Volda mattress actually comes in three different firmness levels. So you can get it in a soft, medium, and firm. And right now we have the medium version, which, you know, if you want to kind of compare it to things, it would, it would be kind of a luxury firm type feel. Uh, it does have some real good density with the top memory foam layer that we feel. So you're gonna definitely notice when you sleep on your back that it's gonna conform to you pretty well. Um, it gives good lumbar support. You know, you can feel that this is gonna be one of your more substantial mattresses that you're gonna get that's a bed in a box type bed. Um, you know, it's got heavy duty components inside of it which is gonna be a big plus. Crystal, when you were sleeping, what were some of the things that you experienced? Yeah, definitely. Um... Well, I sleep primarily on my side, and the medium, um, I, I feel like the medium works really well. It's got a lot of good support, like you had said. Um, you know, it does let you sink in just enough, but it's, I actually found it almost a little more comfortable sleeping on my stomach than my side, um, just because it does have a nice feel to it, where it feels really, really supported on my stomach. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that there's some things where they're going to say, you know, this has a layer of memory foam inside of it, but, but you can't really feel that memory foam. If you like that memory foam cocooning type feel, where it, it's going to kind of contour to your body more, this mattress is going to be the right fit for you. So if you are laying on your shoulder, you're going to notice that, you know, from that shoulder is going to sink in more, your hips going to sink in more, but it's going to it's going to give you some good support you know through those areas where you want to have that mattress push up against you and that's a result probably of some of the latex material inside of the bed but also the big thing is going to be that pocketed coil set so having a hybrid mattress there's going to be a big advantage because really what you're going to do is you're going to incorporate the best of both worlds by using a pocketed coil system and using some latex and memory foam so Comfort wise, we found this bed to be a real comfortable mattress and I feel that people of all sizes, you know, are, are really going to enjoy this bed when you're sleeping on it. Now we'll take a look at the materials of the Voila mattress to see what it is made of. On the exterior is the cover. This cover is thin and made for optimal cooling as well as a silky sleek feel. Underneath the cover is a fire sock. This is a protective layer to help smother flames in the event of a fire. The top layer of foam is going to be two and a half inches of three pound density memory foam. This top layer is a comfort layer that is good for contouring, support, and pressure relief. Underneath the memory foam layer is three quarters of an inch of two and a half pound density, high density poly foam. This is an additional comfort layer that will work with the top layer of memory foam as well as the latex layer underneath. Underneath is 3 quarters of an inch of Talalay latex. This layer provides another comfort layer but is more responsive and allows for bounce and ease of movement. This layer is surrounded by a high density edge foam. This gives added support around the edge of the bed. Underneath this layer is a layer of insulating fiber. This allows for airflow as well as helps protect the coil system from repositioning. The coil system is six and one quarter inch thick. 
This coil system has 768 individually wrapped coils in a queen size, and this provides good bounce and support as well as the core stability. These coils are located in five zones for proper spinal alignment and ergonomic support. The coil system is surrounded by a high density side wall edge foam. This ventilated edge support provides extra stability around the edge of the coil system. Underneath this layer is another layer of insulating fiber. Again, this allows for airflow as well as helps keep the coils in place. Underneath the coil system, you'll find 3 quarters inch of 2.5 pound density medium base foam. This is a standard base foam that provides foundation and support. Under this layer is going to be another layer of firm base foam. There will be 1 inch of 1.6 pound density firm foam that provides again foundation and support that will help with the durability. Underneath all of this is going to be a base cover that helps protect the mattress and keep everything in place. So next what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the motion transfer that we experience when sleeping on this mattress. You know, it, this is a, uh, a coil on foam mattress, so typically you are going to experience a little bit more movement throughout the bed. But I have to say that this mattress actually held up really well from the motion transfer test that we had done. We didn't really experience excessive movement throughout the mattress. You know, I didn't notice when Crystal was getting up in the middle of the night where she was waking me up at all. And I think that's a result of the the heavy duty memory foam that this bed is going to have on top. You know, it uses a higher grade memory foam. You can really feel the uh, significance of that. It's very dense. It's, it's real, uh, real durable, absorbing uh, feel. You can just tell when you push into this mattress that it is a solid bed. Now you are naturally you're going to have a pocketed coil spring that's underneath that. Now th that does two things. It's not going to be an intertwined coil system, so you're not going to get that type of vibration but you are going to get a little bit of extra bounce. So, you know, you are going to experience a little bit of it, uh, but we thought that this, this performed pretty well for us. Um, Crystal, what did you think? Yeah, I would say like you can kind of feel those springs, <coughs> but the memory foam does such a good job of um, kind of making it disappear that you really don't feel much of that unless you're really moving around a lot. Right. So if you're not the most rest restless of sleeper, you know, you're just a, you know average sleeper, um, this mattress, you shouldn't have to worry any about the motion transfer part of it. So sleeping, sleeping cool on this mattress, you know, we didn't experience, uh, you know, too much of heat retention. You will have a layer of memory foam that runs throughout the top of it, and it's it's a considerable layer, so you are going to get more of that cocooning feel. You will have a little bit of heat retention that way. Um, I know McGuire, he sleeps right between Crystal and I, and if I ever wake up in the middle of the night on a memory foam mattress, you know, he definitely shifts over and he moves to my spot because there is going to be a little bit more heat that's going to be in my spot. So uh, you keep that in mind. If, you're, if you get really, really hot, you know, memory foam, memory foam gel, that isn't always the best thing for you. Me being a warmer sleeper though, I got to tell you that I didn't notice anything that made me overly uncomfortable. So from a, a, a heat standpoint, you know, it held up pretty well. The, the other thing that I'd like to say too is remember that if you went, we don't have the soft version here, we have the medium version here. So if you went with something that's more soft, you are going to sink deeper into that mattress which is going to cocoon your body more which in turn is going to cause more heat retention. So keep that in mind. So if you typically, if you go with something that's a little bit more medium or firm, the, the heat retention isn't going to be as great. If you get something that's going to be softer, you sink deeper down inside and it's going to cocoon your body more with that memory foam type feel. You will have more heat retention. So with the medium version, Crystal and I really didn't experience much at all.
Now we're going to talk about edge support. Now edge support is going to be an important thing with a mattress. You never want to have a bed where you're going to be sitting or sitting on the edge and feeling like you're rolling out. And especially you don't want to have a mattress where you're actually sleeping close to the edge and you're going to have that rolling out of the bed type feel. With the Voila mattress, we did not experience we did not experience any rolling out of the bed type feel, which is really important. The unique thing about this bed is, is it is going to be a hybrid, which means it has a pocketed coil system and then layers of foam over the top of that. But it also is going to have a foam encasement that's going to run around the outer edge of this bed. Now foam encasement is important because that's just going to provide uh, adequate support so you're not going to be feeling like you're rolling out of that mattress. Now, um, I'm gonna have Crystal actually just lay on the end of the bed here and just do a demonstration so you can kind of see the compression that she's gonna have. And she's gonna be, right now, she's about two inches from that edge. And are you feeling any of that rolling out of the bed type feel? No, not at all. My left side to my right side feels completely the same as far as feeling I can utilize the mattress in full. Yeah, and even get right up onto the edge. Yeah, surprisingly, like even laying right on the edge where part of my body's even kind of off, it doesn't feel like I'm going to roll out, other no. than the fact that I'm just on the edge. <laughs> right, exactly. So, and that's important where you never want to feel like you're rolling out of the bed when you get to the edge. You know, so if somebody's going to have a full size or a queen size or a twin, you know, typically you are going to sleep a little bit closer to the edge of that mattress and you want to be able to utilize the whole surface. So with this outer edge foam encasement support, that is going to be a big plus for this mattress. You know, you're, you're not going to get that excessive uh, rolling out. Then, you know, if I'm sitting back in a normal position here, I'm not going to feel like I'm collapsing that side. Obviously, if I'm going to take all of my weight and I'm going to get right on that edge, you always are going to be able to break that down. This doesn't have a, a reinforced steel border wire that runs around the top of it. You know, so that, that kind of comes with the territory. But for a roll pack mattress, a hybrid mattress, you know, I do give this you know, pretty good edge support. And that just uh, it goes to show that this is a, a more sub significant, substantial bed that we're on. All right, so lastly, we're going to talk about the value of this mattress. Um, again, we just want to reiterate the fact that there are going to be three different uh, firmness levels on this, and that actually does correlate with uh, the price on it. So the softest one is going to be uh, $10.99, where the medium one is going to be $9.99, and then the firmest one is going to be $9.79. Um, and as far as value goes, I mean, this is going to be kind of right in that price point with a majority of other online mattresses. And for the price and all of the substantial materials you're really getting with this bed, we found this to be a good value. Um, what did you think, Justin? Yeah, for sure. I, you know, you're going to have an adequate pocketed coil system in here that's going to give you that good support. It gives you your pretty good, uh, um, you know, pressure relief at the same time. That memory foam that's inside of it, you can feel it's a true memory foam. When I say a true memory foam, you just, you cannot imagine some of the beds that we have tried over the years, I mean, me having a store, but also these online mattresses where it says it has a layer or two of memory foam or latex, and you cannot feel the difference between a, a polyfoam layer and a memory foam layer. Here you can, this is a legitimate memory foam that's inside of this mattress and that is going to be a big plus. You can feel the, the added durability and just the overall quality of that. So um, you know from a value standpoint when you add those materials in it that is a big plus. Okay so to wrap it up guys you know hopefully this review was helpful for you. We really enjoyed sleeping on the Vola mattress. You know, we we thought that, you know, obviously explaining the components of this mattress, the price of this bed, that you should absolutely consider buying this bed. 
and I think that for many, many years to come, you're going to find that it's going to treat you right and be a comfortable, comfortable sleep. So, from Crystal and I, Lily joined us at the end. She was getting a little bit cranky, and McGuire, who's the greatest dog in the world, he just likes to hang out and be by his mommy and daddy. So. Um, you know, thanks for watching the video, guys. Definitely check out OurSleepGuide.com. See if we can, uh, you know, save you some money on this bed. Go and check out the written review, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll be back for another review. So thank you, guys, and have a great day. Bye.